Hey guys, what is up? It's Bring Me The Boa here, and um, today I'm just, this is a shorter video, also you might notice I have Ball Python on me. This is Cheerio. He's my male Ball Python. He just really wanted out of his cage, so yeah, he's, he's going to be chilling out. Oh, <laughs> he's going to be chilling out with us today on this video. Um, this video is just kind of a, um, something I should bring up, I thought I should bring up is, uh, Never be afraid to go to a vet. Now, uh, you might be wondering, oh, well, if you know so much about snakes, why do you need to go to the vet? Um, I may know a lot about care, but I am not a professional. Um, and plus, your own emotional attachments to an animal can also skew your perception of things. Um, I mentioned in one of my past videos that Azura, my exanthic female western hognose, has not been eating very much. And um, I got kind of worried, so I took her into the vet because um, after she took that meal that I mentioned, uh, she pooped that out two days later, which any of you out there that are snake keepers know that that's not normal. Um, it should not pass in a couple of days. Um, it should take at least a week. Um, so the vet, um, discharger and stuff, that's what this paper's for. I'm not going to show you anything in case there's any info on here that uh, could be bad if it got out um, in terms of, like my payment or my address methods and stuff like that. Um, this though is the, you know, oh I can, now I know who um, did the exam so I can, you know, give her a good thumbs up and stuff. But um, this was just um, basically a rundown of things I need to look for, what I need to do. Um, and her ge her general discharge papers. Um, I took her into Arizona Exotic Animal Hospital because they have one of the best um, exotic animal hospitals here in Arizona. Um, but basically, what they wanting they wanted me to do is heat her upper tank, also isolate her from the other snakes. So that's why she actually is residing here. But during videos, I'm going to move her down here just so. That way, in case I need to put other snakes up here to show off, I'm also going to keep this towel up here for when I have her up here. But the vet's pretty much said, and the reason why I'm allowing Cherry to hang out is uh, more than likely she doesn't have anything. She's just being a hog nose and not eating, and she just picked a really bad time to do so. Um, which hog noses are known for going off of feed in the winter and fall time. So, that's most likely what she's doing. She just really picked a bad time because she probably um, lost some weight from stress when she was in transit from Florida to here. And then she went off feed. So, um, the vets gave me a couple ideas. And then on top of that, I'm trying my own experiment with um, light exposure to see if I can trick her into thinking it's springtime by making all of my snakes think that it's the spring by increasing the overall light exposure that they have. Um, which includes me opening up my blinds, me, um, excuse me, um, me getting multiple lights that can imitate the sun. And then um, for her, I actually have a heat pad plugged in. That's what this cord's for, which is why you're not going to see me going, you know, very much farther this way. Um, she actually has a heat pad right here that I um, attach to the back. So that way she'll have a hot side and a cold side. She can decide which side she wants to be on. And the heat should hopefully help bring back her appetite and kind of reactivate her metabolism, kind of bring her out of her torpor, um, which again is just when snakes kind of cool down, chill out, and um, it's similar to hibernation, but not quite to the same extent. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd make a much shorter video about it. Um, they also gave me this bag. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, I'm not going to show the front. Um, this bag... And basically, um, what they want me to do is to, if she poops, to put it in this bag, moisten the paper towel, and get it into them in three hours or less after the poop was made um, to test for parasites. They could not get her to make any form of excrement at the vet. Um, and since that mouse was the last thing, la bleh, last thing that she ate, more than likely she does not have anything else in her stomach. So... The only way I'm going to get poop is if she eats. And the only way to find out if she has any problems is if she eats. So, 
I'm hoping that um, the light exposure and the overall like just generating more heat in my room um, will help because my room's been cooling down because it's winter. Um, I'm just genuinely hoping it works. It should though. I have a lot of confidence. And then uh, Jeff over at Hardcore Hognose, who I bought her from, has been so supportive and so helpful through this whole situation. Um, honestly, he's just such a fantastic guy. But um, also, small announcement, I'm probably going to mention it in the next couple of videos because I don't think we're going to have another boost in subscribers quite like this again. Um, we jumped up from 25 to 31. I'm actually really proud of that. Um, was not expecting that to happen literally, what was it, it had been about like a week, if that, between my last counting of subscribers to this one. Um, it's been at 31 for a couple days now, so I just thought I'd announce that, just because it's, it's six more subscribers, I'm genuinely happy. We're, we're climbing, we're actually climbing, it's a bigger jump than I was expecting, so I was only expecting probably like two this entire month to have, like for me to get more. And instead I got six. I ended up going up an entire another five at least. And I got out of the 20s and I'm now into the 30s. So it was just really cool to um, wake up to that. And I'm going to be using my Instagram a lot more. Because um, I feel like that kind of helped with it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then those of you that really want to see Hercules, don't worry. Ball Python video is coming soon. I'm i just been trying to not be so busy with the holidays and Christmas shopping and spending time with the family. Uh, these like last four or five days have kind of been really busy. So hopefully um, after the holidays calm down a little bit and after New Year's I'll be able to pump out a lot more videos. But don't worry, I should have at least two more videos down the pipeline just so that this uh, upcoming week after this video is filmed has content. I'm trying to keep a somewhat regular schedule up where it's two videos a week, maybe a third every now and then, but should be just two videos pretty consistently for the next while until summer happens. And then once college gets out and it's summer, there's probably going to be a big bout of videos. So I um, hope you guys look forward to that. And Here's a little cheerio. Because I know some, a lot of people want to see Hercules, but um, she's resting. She just had another big meal. And so she kind of just wants to sleep. She's kind of grumpy. <laughs> but uh, he was really wanting out. And just thought I'd give a little update on this. And then uh, there's going to be another video. It's going to be kind of a melancholy one. <laughs> In a similar vein to this one about pet care. So, yeah, there's going to be that one. It's just a little bit of a break from, ho like, just hognocentric. Um, this video is more so just about, like, my experiences with taking my snake to the vet. And, uh... Really saying that uh, if your pet is having any problems, take them to the vet. Do not just rely on like people on the internet. Um, a lot of them, yeah, they all know what they're doing. They've been in the trade or the hobby for years. If you know who you're talking to and if the people you're talking to know what they're talking about. But just to be safe, always take your pet in to the vet when something is wrong. Um, just to rule out anything. They potentially spread to your other pets. Um, they said that Azura is in exceptional health other than her weight. So this is going to be kind of an ongoing process of fattening her back up, getting her um, some more muscle tone back, and just overall just getting her weight back up to a healthy weight. Um, I'm hoping that I can get her up to about 150 grams, but we'll see. The, um, wet, the vet weighed her in at 49 grams, so she has lost quite a bit of weight, um, and she has quite a bit to go to the size that I feel like she should be at. Um, but until then, I'll see you guys next time. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe. And also turn on that bell notification button if you want to see more content right after it comes out. As always, I'll see you guys later.